the first thing I always think about is, um, was this true statin intolerance or was it, was it kind of a coincidence that this person was going through something at the same time that they had started their statin? Um, I, I always try to take it very seriously, um, try to find out what the side effects were and what happened after the medication was stopped. Oftentimes, we'll try a different medication um, at a lower dose to see if that gives any benefit um, without the same side effects. And sometimes we'll just go to a totally different agent like the PCSK9 inhibitors or the bempedoic acid. I think that people who have had statin intolerance, um, there, there is, it, it does happen. And um, I certainly can't tell them that it's not happening. So there's some research that maybe um, being deficient in vitamin D levels might be something that you could address that might help some people with statin intolerance. Um, giving people CoQ10, um, at least anecdotally, I've seen so many people who say that they're able to take the statins without as many side effects. So pretty much first line, I tell people, let's try it with the CoQ10. This time, let's do it this way and see if that goes any better.